We're, we're working on it now. You'll have your shipment by the end of the week. You have three days. If I don't have it by then, there may be a leak to your American press. I'm sorry, but... Most unfortunate. Steven's men have the woman now. As soon as they get the plasma, they'll... What about Logan? There wasn't time. The UN peacekeeping forces had already arrived when... Another agency screw up. Do you have any idea how close your incompetence has come to killing us all? I am not responsible for the actions of my predecessor. Markinson was not in control. Markinson was your man. As Romer was yours. And what about Gregorov? You were supposed to keep the Russians away from the Farcom warehouses at Kazakhstan. <laughs> You're not going to blame me for your incompetence. The SVR is not under my control any more than Romer's terrorist war. Enough. We all have much at stake. Logan was one of our best agents. He has the highest level of training and years of field experience. It won't be easy. I see. Perhaps I'm not being clear. Success is everything, is it not, Mr. Cochran? It will be impossible to get the plasma from the woman as long as Logan is alive. <laughs> I think you overestimate Mr. Logan's abilities. You were given Mr. Fagan's job because you promised to have phase two of the virus ready in time. It's not my fault that Romer lost the girl before we could extract but the- like Markinson and Romer, you have failed. All right, look, I'm sorry that things didn't go according to plan, but- <laughs> You see, Mr. Stevens, a simple demonstration. Mara has proven her usefulness. Mr. Cochran has not. Logan will be taken care of. We will have the female's plasma soon. I have an army on the way to Colorado now, and my men are at the airbase with Leon Zing. There will be no more delays. You can take a break, airman. We'll be done in 10 minutes. I'll need to see your ID, sir. We're with FEMA. Do we need to refer to your commander? Uh, no, sir. We'll check on Fagan. You finish the other CBDC agent. Stevens wants us back in the room. Watch her. She's been unconscious for much longer than I would have expected. The virus should not have weakened her so much this early in its development cycle. I'll head over to the secure hangar and see if the F-22s are back for refueling and ordnance. No. You get over to the main gate and make sure our package gets through unhindered. I'll take care of the pilots personally. Let's see. Two bags of plasma ought to be enough. You won't feel a thing. Yeah. No. You're the one who won't feel a thing. <coughs> okay. Now let's find my gear. Hey guys, and welcome back to Siphon Filter 2. Bit of a short mission here, which will, uh, which my internet will thank me for. So, we're playing as Leon again. So, agency operatives headed by Morgan have abducted you from Kazakhstan and brought you to McKenzie Air Force Base in Colorado. You must escape the holding facility and find a way off base. If possible, observe Morgan and his operatives and uncover any agency plans you can. Airbase personnel believe you're a terrorist under quarantine and will fire if they spot you. Avoid detection and use non-lethal means to eliminate any obstacles to your goal. Yeah, so it looks like there's a little bit of trouble in paradise at the old agency there. A changing of the leadership. Now this mission's fun. We're going to start off straight away with a two minute time limit before we die. Also, we're completely naked under this robe. I don't know who stripped yes. us off, but Are you finished with it's a little bit awkward. Need the injection. It will take a moment for it to work. Morgan wants you to come check Fagan. I think the last of the serum bags are filled. Let me go check on Leon Singh first. No. Morgan said to come now. And what Morgan says goes, I guess. All right. Let's go sneak, sneak, sneak. Now, if we do get caught here, uh, it's basically an instant game over. Let's go get some adrenaline. Keep us in the fight. I told you to get back. Why didn't you listen to me? 
So unfortunately, there's Dobson from the beginning. Uh, he's been given a lethal injection. Now we have our injection. We should be able to last a little bit longer. Uh, I always get turned around here as well. I always forget exactly where we're going. This place isn't that much of a maze, but it's enough of a maze for my anemic brain. Ooh, hello. Well, I always get turned around. But I think we're okay. I think this is where we're supposed to be going. It's actually a very short mission, but it's quite, quite fun. With some incredibly moody music, which suits it perfectly. Here we go. I've relieved the guard. We won't be disturbed. Good. Doctor, is your work with him done? Yes, that's the last we need from him. We get the rest from Singh. Then let's tie up a loose end. Unplug him. Wait, I can still use him back at the lab. We still have not fully studied the long-term effects of the virus on certain genetic structures. I can use him to- My orders are to make Fagan disappear when you have finished extracting his plasma. The agency can't risk the government finding Farcom's CEO infected with an unknown virus. I see. And it doesn't help that he has Aramov's bullet in his brain, You can it? use the girl for your other tests. Fine, if you insist. I'll call the New York labs and see if they're ready for us. I'll go with you. You go on ahead and check on the F-22s. Make sure they have the sarin canisters loaded and ready for a run on the survivors. I'll see what's keeping Holman. Yes, nice little gas attack in the mountains. Not great, to be honest. All right, let's go see our friend from the original uh, game. Not doing so well. Looks like he's finally gone to sleep forever. Okay, well, that's one loose end tied up, I suppose. Now, we want to be going this way. Yeah, so we are completely in the buff here. Which is really awkward. However, luckily, some uh, thoughtful individual decided to stow all of our clothes in a locker. And we have some secret forbidden knowledge of exactly where they are. Which is useful. Buzz me out, Carter. Where are you going? I gotta get some air. Those government guys are giving me the creeps. Something's going on in there. Yeah, I know what you mean. They just brought up a couple of body bags, and I got a call from the CO saying the entire base has been quarantined and locked down tight. Alright, yes, you get outside, sir, whilst we stealth our way into the security room. Now, I can't back up in a few. quite place, um... What's the name's accent? Mara. Um, I get, I, you know, I suppose she's supposed to be Russian. But her accent is literally all over the place. <laughs> it's utterly bizarre. It really is. Anyway, let's go get our <laughs> combat gear. Ah, oh, much better. Are you there? Even some fresh underwear. At least I hope they're fresh underwear. Leon, where are you? Are you all right? Teresa? It's good to hear a familiar voice. I'm fine. They're holding me at some civil air base in Colorado. Where's Gabe? He's run into trouble. Transport's down somewhere in the mountains. Gabe's in trouble? Yeah, but what else is new? <laughs> He's more worried about you than himself. Gabe knows better than to worry about me. Uh, Leon, are you okay? Uh, running on an adrenaline booster right now. Winding down fast. Get this information to him right away. He was right about Fagan. They were keeping him alive, incubating some new strain of the virus the same strain I'm infected with. They must have injected us both while we were imprisoned in the catacombs. Oh my god. I'm sure that's why they brought me here. They were using this airbase to fly infected test subjects in and out of the states, bypassing international quarantine. Hmm. The agency's also using it to shut down air routes all over the Rockies. <sighs> Makes for a good front. Tell Gabe that the agency lab complex is somewhere in New York. I'm gonna try to find out where. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I'm going to get a chopper, and I'm going to get out of here. Does Gabe have an evac plan yet? No, he's having me monitor agency radio traffic while he gets to the crash site. I think he's going to try to requisition a chopper there. Tell him not to. I'll give him a ride myself. Do you have his coordinates? No. We're ready to leave, Airman. Buzz us out. Yes, sir. <sighs> Never mind. I'll get him from the tower. I'm going to head over to the other infirmary and make sure the rest of the plasma has been properly refrigerated. Okay, our F-22s are coming in now. 
As soon as I deal with them, I'll meet you at the tower. Okay. Seems easy enough. Now, uh, yeah, I'd be worried if uh, Logan wasn't in trouble. Now, we were making a considerable amount of noise here, chatting away, um, not exactly quietly, coughing, stumbling, choking, and all that lot. But luckily, this guy must have cottage pie in his ears because he didn't hear a fucking thing. But there we go. <laughs> now, we're not allowed to use any kind of lethal force here on these guys because they are innocent after all. Well, I mean, as innocent as he can be, I suppose. Anyway, let's get going. Now, you can, if you're too slow here, you can get locked in. Ah, bugger. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you can get locked in that door there. And if that happens, you are going to have a bad time. It's basically a game over. Because there is that guard that just um, caught us. Uh, he'll eventually just walk over to those locked doors and if he sees you, which he will do if you're trapped in there, he will go crazy and kill you. So it's kind of interesting, kind of cool that they put like a hard time limit there. You can actually make it to that second um, enclosure there. So a bit unusual that he stopped us, but it doesn't matter. We're just going to give him a, a zap of the good stuff in his ass anyway. There we go. Take his M16 for reasons. And what have we got over here? Right, so we've just got this dick wad. But we don't have to worry too much about him. Because he's going to turn around. He doesn't actually come that far towards us. But he also doesn't go that far out either. He, he, he has caught me out a few times. Bit of a dick buffer, if you ask me. But that's okay. We'll zap him on the way past. They're very kind, you know. If you go to zap them, they will stop and wait for the animation to play out, which I, you know, it's fine. It is what it is, but it just makes me laugh. Anyway, that's the end of that level. No idea how this guy's creeping up on her. All right, hold it, miss. Stop right there. You don't understand. I'm not a prisoner. You don't know who these men are. You're right. I don't know who they are, but I know they're not from FEMA. Over here. I overheard two of them. They're planning to kill you. You can get out here. Thanks. If you're trying to get to the airfield, it's southwest of here. I'll check in at the security office and cover your absence as long as I can. Good luck. You're taking a huge risk, Airman. I took an oath to uphold the law. Who are these people? CIA? NSA? Not exactly. You don't have much time. Good luck. Thanks again. He's a good man, that gentle giant. I call him a giant because his uh, character model looks almost twice the size of us. Like, literally, his character model. I don't know if it was a perspective thing on the cinematic, uh, cinematic but he literally looks twice the size of us. It's, it's quite funny. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that one there. Short and sweet. Uh, I actually really like that level. I like it. It's full of tension. And, um, you know, you uh, gives a nice little bit of plot. See what's going on behind the curtain. Um, and it's full of tension with that awesome music as well. So, yeah, I do like that level. Anyway, guys, till next time.